Alright, so we're going to look at infinite sums now. And again, remember that your r's have to be here between negative 1 and 1. So you need an r value between negative 1 and 1 to use an infinite sum. And the formula is simplified here. So if I look at this first example, it's actually one that we've just done, looking at it as a partial sum, but here I'm asking you to find the infinite sum. So again, that's the idea of I just kept this on going on to infinity, and I added them all up, what would I get? Well, it might be nice just to think about this. If I keep going, all of these are timesing by half, or divided by 2, so if I continue the sequence on, I would get 2.5 divided by 2, or times by 1 half, would be 1.25. My next one would be 0 0.625, and then I would get 0 0.3125. And the next one I get after that, 0 0.15625, and after that, 0 0.7, 0 0.078125, and you notice that these numbers are starting to get really small, um, and that's what we'd expect to see. They're going to get smaller and smaller and smaller, so they get smaller, and they're going to go towards 0. Eventually we're going to get numbers so small, it's basically the same thing as 0. And that's why we're allowed to add that infinitely, because it does kind of just even itself out eventually. The part you add on each time keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller until it's something really close to zero. So same process as before, we need to find our common ratio between the terms. So again, if you're not sure here, we could start with 20 over 40 is equal to 0 0.5. Or you could pick another pair there, we could do 5 over 10. Again take a term and then divide it by the one in front of it. So that's equal to r. My a here is equal to 40. And we don't need to worry about n because when we're adding it infinitely we're just going to add them all up so I'm not going to tell you when to stop. So my formula here should actually have an infinite sign down there. The sum to infinity, like a sideways 8, is going to be equal to a which is 40 divided by bracket 1 minus r, which is 0 0.5. And again, with your calculator, make sure you use those brackets. If you don't, you're going to get yourself in trouble. And when we do, um, do all this out, we should get... we should get 80. Um, which actually kind of makes sense, because when we added the first 20 terms, looking back up at the first example here, from the last video, same sequence, we added the first 20 terms, we got to 79.9999. So again, because the numbers start getting smaller and smaller and smaller, after 20 terms we're at 79.99, all the way up to infinity, you'll even out to 80. So that's what we get, the sum for the first, or the sum for all the terms possible in this sequence, because it's decreasing, is 80. We can take a look at this next one as well, there's another example. So in here, well, in we're not going to use in this case because it's infinite, so we don't need it. We're going to add them all up. A is the first term, which is 8. R here, 4 over 8, is equal to 1 half, or 0 0.5. And here we're looking for the infinite term. So again, because this keeps getting smaller, I can actually sum them all up. So using my formula, which was a over bracket 1 minus r, we will get a which is 8, so sum to infinity is equal to 8 divided by bracket 1 minus 0 0.5, and this will be 16. If you remember from the last video, we got 15 for the first, 15.999 for the first 20 terms, and here it balances out to 16, so if you add up all those tiny little pieces, you'll get up to 16. So just keep in mind with an infinite sum, you've got to make sure that you are only adding, you're only using it for sequences that actually get smaller as they go. It won't work if you're doing it to ones that get bigger. Um, and this is an example of that same exact kind of trick question. Find the infinite sum of this sequence, but what do you notice here? These are all getting bigger. So if you found your r value here, you do 2 divided by 1 is equal to 2. And that's outside of that range of between negative 1 and 1. So it's not going to work. You can't do an infinite sum here. 
And the reason is is that those numbers just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So your answer is just going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and will eventually approach infinity itself. So you can't do it there.